we have Pentecost. We'll be here again back in London. The epistle for this seventh Sunday is taken in Paul's over the Romans, chapter 6. Brethren, I speak a human thing. Because of the infirmity of your flesh, for as you have yielded your members to serve uncleanness and iniquity unto iniquity, so now yield your members to serve justice unto sanctification. For when you were the servants of sin, you were free men to justice. What fruit therefore had you then in those things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of them is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruit under sanctification, and the end, life everlasting. For the wages of sin is death, but the grace of God is a life everlasting. In Christ Jesus our Lord. In the Gospel. <clears throat> Take that according to St. Matthew, chapter 7. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in the clothing of sheep, but inwardly are ravening wolves. By their fruits you shall know them. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. And the evil tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can an evil tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit shall be cut down, and shall be cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit you shall know them. Not every one that saith to, to, to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doth the will of my Father who is in heaven. You shall enter the kingdom of heaven. That's all the words of today's holy gospel. Thank you, Father, and Son of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, today, the seventh Sunday after Pentecost, but a few considerations here on the latest comments of Bishop Williamson on our present crisis. Es ist der siebte Sonntag nach Pfingsten und hier einige Betrachtungen über ähm die letzten über die letzten Kommentare von Bishop Williamson das letzte was gestern rausgekommen ist. Because it seems as though we are developing, we are going forward in the battle between the truth and error. Denn es scheint, dass wir voranschreiten in unserem Kampf um, um, in der Schlacht zwischen der Wahrheit und dem Irrtum. Und wir finden in den Kommentaren von gestern die gleiche Argumentation, die uns in 2011 und 2012 in einer sehr großen Weise von der modernen Gesellschaft von St. Pius X. Und wir finden in den also in, in gestrigen Kommentaren von 2011 das, um, genau das gleiche Argument wie in 2011. Um, die, die, die in 2013 we had a, a big talk in the United States by a father Thiemann. 2013 gab es einen großen Vortrag von Pater Thiemann in Amerika. Against our resistance movement. Gegen den Widerstand. And he said that the problem of the battle between the society of Pius X and modernist Rome is a problem of prudence. Und er sagt, das Problem der, der, der Schlacht zwischen dem modernen Rom und der Bruderschaft ist ein Problem der Klugheit. And that whether or not we should accept modernist Rome, approval and personal prelature is a matter of prudence, und, not a matter of principle. Und ob wir es die Personalprenatur annehmen sollen, ist, es ist eine, eine Frage der, der Klugheit und nicht des Prinzips. At that time, all those that were resisting against the new direction of the society of Pius the tenth. Zu der Zeit all die Leute, die diesem um, die diesem Modernismus in der Bruderschaft widerstanden. All the members of the resistance. Alle Mitglieder des Widerstandes. 
When at that time we all appeared to be united in one. Um, es schien, dass all diese Leute in einer Einigkeit vereint waren. Everyone said no. This is not just a matter of prudence. Jeder sagte nein, es ist nicht nur eine Frage der Klugheit. It is a matter that touches very deeply our faith. Es ist eine Sache, die sehr tief unseren Glauben berührt. If we accept the personal prelature from modernist Rome, Wenn wir eine Personalprelatur von modernen Rom annehmen, it means that we accept the modernism of modernist Rome. Bedeutet das, dass wir den Modernismus des modernen Roms annehmen. I remember in our priest meeting in 2012 in the Philippines, ich erinnere mich an das Priestertreffen uh, in 2012 in den Philippinen. We had 11 priests at the meeting. Es gab elf Priester bei diesem Treffen. My brother was one of them. Mein Bruder war einer davon. Myself and the other priests. Mein, ich auch und andere Priester. And we argued, ten of us. Und wir diskutierten mit zehn, uns und mit zehn. That if we accept a deal with Rome in this 2012. It does not mean we are accepting to be approved by them in a canonical way. It rather means that we implicitly and truly accept our the Novus Ordo and Vatican II as of God. Es bedeutet eher, dass wir implizit und richtig akzeptieren, dass die moderne Kirche und ähm, Vatikan II von Gott kommen. It is like the wife, es ist wie die Frau, who accepts to live with her husband, die akzeptiert, dass sie mit ihrem Mann lebt, and the seven other women of his new harem. <lacht> mit den sieben anderen Frauen von seinem Harem. Now, in, in, if the husband never ever sins with those seven women, wenn der Mann niemals mit diesen sieben Frauen sündigt, he may not be guilty of adultery. Muss er nicht unbedingt des Ehebruchs schuldig sein. But the very second, the very moment that the wife accepts the other seven women, aber in die eine Sekunde nur, wo die Frau diese anderen sieben Frauen akzeptiert, she is immediately guilty. Ist sie sofort schuldig. She cannot claim innocence. Sie kann nicht Unschuldigkeit auf Unschuldigkeit She sein. has no right to accept the false women. Sie hat kein Recht, die falschen Frauen an, äh, zu akzeptieren. So likewise, so if, if the society of St. Pius X wenn die accepts to be inside of modernist Rome under its direction, innerhalb des modernen Roms zu sein und ihre in the same church, in the same buildings, in the, in the Kirchen, in the Gebäuden, alongside the new mass, mit der, der neuen, mit der al Messe, alongside all the indult communities, und neben den indult it means that we accept them as of God. And this is a lie. Und das ist eine Lüge. Therefore we cannot do this. Furthermore, as Catholic priests and members of the Society of St. Pius X, we are representatives of the Holy Roman Catholic Church and ambassadors of Christ. It is not our duty to make sure that we are personally acceptable. It, it is our duty to bring the world to Christ and to make the world, the people of the world, who are unacceptable to Christ because they are in sin. Und dass wir die Leute, die unakzeptierbar für Christus sind, weil sie in der Sünde sind, to come to Christ. dass diese Leute zu Christus kommen. And to bring Christ to them. Und dass wir Christus zu ihnen zu bringen. We are like the water pipe. Wir sind wie, die, wie das Wasserrohr. Between heaven and the earth. Zwischen Himmel und Erde. It is not important that the water pipe be appreciated. <lacht> es ist nicht notwendig, dass die, die, diese, die, das Wasserrohr akzeptiert ist. It, what is essential is that the pipe carries the water from heaven to earth. And the souls from earth to heaven. When we change our direction. And we say what matters is that we must be approved because we have the right to be approved. 
sagen, es ist wirklich notwendig, dass wir angenommen werden, denn wir haben Recht betr- darauf. We are betraying our duty as Catholic priests. Dann bet- um, betro- betrügen wir unsere Pflicht als katholische Priester. Now we find 2017. Jetzt sehen wir in 2017. The same argumentation. Die gleiche Argumentation. Of 2012. Von 2012. Only this time it's coming from us. Nur jetzt kommt es sozusagen von uns. So that here Bishop Williamson says in the latest comments of yesterday. Also Bishop Williamson sagt in the latest comments of yesterday. Another society is seen by his 10th priest. Uh, rather should be Father, he calls him Father PR, Father Public Relations. Yeah, another priest from the Bruderschaft, Father PR, der für die öffentliche Kommunikation zuständig ist. He gives a defense of the societies trying to make a deal with Rome. Verteidigt die Bruderschaft ein, im sagt, rechtfertigen Abkommen mit Rom. And then Bishop Williamson says. Und dann sagt der Bischof. Father PR's defense. Is well presented. But it suffers from the same essential fault as the pursuit of recognition which he is defending. And that is a lack of realism. Und das heißt, es ist ein, ein von so the problem is a lack of realism. Das also ist ein, ein, ein von And the principle is one thing, practice is another. Moderns would call this statement a paradigm shift. The moderns? Modern, so modern philosophers okay. recall this statement a paradigm shift. Which is an essential shift from one way of thinking to another. When the paradigm shift happens, it may not be perfectly visible in the beginning. But it's an essential shift from one road to another. Aber es ist ein wesentlicher Wechsel von einer Straße zu einer anderen. And it will continue and arrive at a totally different destination. Und es wird sich fortsetzen und an einen ganz anderen Zielpunkt ankommen. So if the problem of making a deal with Rome is a lack of realism. Also wenn das Problem ein Abkommen mit Rom zu schließen ist ein Realitäts. And a problem of practice. Und ein Problem der Praxis. Then it's a matter of personal opinion. It's like two generals deciding whether we should charge the enemy camp or not charge the enemy camp. Neither decision is right or wrong. Is either successful or unsuccessful. But not right or wrong. Aber nicht richtig oder falsch. Generals have the right to say charge. Die Generäle haben das Recht zu sagen angreifen. And they have the right to say don't charge yet. Und sie haben das Recht zu sagen nicht jetzt angreifen. As soon as we say the argument is about two generals. Sobald wir das sagen, dass das Argument ist über geht, bezieht sich auf zwei Generäle. So one general, Bishop Williamson. Ein General, Bishop Williamson sagt says it's a bad idea to charge. Because if we do, we'll be massacred. The other general, Bishop Follet, says, no, we should charge. Because if we stay here, we'll starve. And if we charge, we will take over the encampment of the enemy. But this is not the choice. Aber das ist nicht die Wahl, die wir, haben. we are choosing between good and evil. Wir wählen zwischen gut und Bösen. Between truth and false. Zwischen der Wahrheit und dem, um, Irrtum. In this choice there is only one shot. In dieser Situation, da nur eine Wahl. We are obliged to stay with truth and to reject the error. We are obliged to do the good 
and reject the evil. What is happening here is that the people of the resistance, which now is a term that has become relatively meaningless, no longer know what they are resisting. Or why they are resisting. And are given the principles that led the mainstream society people to step away from Archbishop of the Fed. Why did we tell our young man and young woman of the age of 18 and 19 do not get married at that Nova Soto church? You get married with us in tradition here in this hotel room. But you don't get married in that Nova Soto church. Why did traditional priests say this? Several thousand of them in the last 50 years. Because the old Irish pastor, like my pastor, Father Hannafin, was born in 1912 and died in 2001. And all the other old priests like him said, you go to that church, that Nova Soto church, you will lose your faith. Therefore, don't go. Father Hennepin, my old pastor, a simple Irish priest, he wasn't into big theological arguments. He used to tell the people that came to our church or the priests that came and visited they would say to him, Father Hannepin, what's wrong with the new Mass? Why shouldn't I go? And he responded, it's, it's causing souls to go to hell. Stop saying it. I heard him say that word to at least 20 or 30 priests. And many of them wept. Some were angry. Most were silent. None disagreed. Not one. They all realized that Father was telling the truth. The truth is the Navasoto Church, the Navasoto Mass, is leading souls to hell. And this is because it is not teaching the doctrine of Jesus Christ. And the new Mass is an expression of the new doctrine. And therefore it is evil. And we must tell the souls, I am sorry. But this new Mass is damning to your soul. This new church is leading souls to hell. If you have any doubts, go out into the street. Visit any Catholic church and see how the souls have stepped away from Christ because of the direction of the new church not because of the bad modern world. Therefore, if we love souls and we love God then we must say no Catholic can accept the personal prelature offered by modernist Rome to the Society of St. Pius X. So here Bishop Williamson continues. He says that to prove that one can accept recognition from a modernist Pope, this priest, Father Pierre, um, um zu prüfen, dass jemand um, eine Anerkennung vom modernistischen Rom 
anerkennen kann, diese Priester. That he, he argues that Archbishop Lefebvre always sought approval from Paul VI. This is completely false. This is ganz falsch. If you're not a member of the society and never had any connection with the society, we could say that it's just an error. Wenn man kein Mitglied der Bruderschaft war, ist oder auch nie eine Verbindung zur Bruderschaft hatte, kann man sagen, das ist einfach ein Fehler. But if we have personal knowledge of our SSPX history, also wenn man persönliches Wissen hat von der, von der, von der Geschichte der Bruderschaft, then it must be called a lie. Hmm. Dann muss man sagen, es ist eine Lüge. Archbishop Lefebvre says in the 1974 Declaration, Archbishop Lefebvre sagt in der 74er Deklaration, every faithful Catholic must Reject the Rome of neo-modernist and neo-Protestant tendencies. Until the light of faith shines over Rome again. My pastor, Father Hennepin. He never sought the approval of our bishop. When he met with the bishop of the diocese of Louisville, also mit dem Bischof von, uh, der Diözese Louisville um, sich getroffen hat, I am staying with the true faith. Hat er gesagt, ich bleibe mit dem wahren Glauben. I am not accepting this modernist church, modernist mass. Ich akzeptiere diese modernistische Kirche nicht. And the bishop said to Father Hannafin, Und der Bischof hat zum Vater Hannafin gesagt, Are you asking for my permission to uh, take a break? <laughs> Fragen Sie mich um meine Erlaubnis, um meine Pause einzunehmen? And Bishop, Bishop, my father Hannafin said, no. Und der Vater Hannafin hat gesagt, nein. I am not asking your permission. Ich frage nicht um Ihre Erlaubnis. I am telling you what I am doing. Ich sage Ihnen, was ich tue. And then the Bishop went, oh, okay, 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 okay. Und dann hat der Bischof, okay, okay. He was terrified of Father Hannafin. Er hatte Angst vor dem einfachen Vater Hannafin. But the fact is, we are not asking for the permission to do our duty. Aber die Tatsache ist, wir fragen nicht um Erlaubnis, um unsere Pflicht zu tun. We were baptized. Wir wurden getauft. And as baptized, we must profess the Catholic faith. Und als Getaufte müssen wir den katholischen Glauben bekennen. We were confirmed. Wir wurden gefirmt. As confirmed, we must profess the Catholic faith publicly before all men. Als Gefirmte müssen wir den katholischen Glauben vor allen Menschen bekennen. And we are priests. Und wir sind Priester. As priests, we must carry that faith to the enemies of God. And do all that we can to turn those enemies into the friends of Christ. As priests, we must do as St. Bernard said we must do. St. Bernard said a priest is a dog. And a dog must bark. Und ein Hund muss, um, bellen. And if a dog does not bark, he is worthless. Therefore, the priest who does not bark Deshalb, der Priester, der nicht bellt, is not being a priest. Ist kein It is our obligation as priests of God es ist Pflicht, als von Gott, to bark against the errors of our world. Gegen die This is a most grave obligation. Es ist eine ganz And it is a matter of principle. Und es eine, eine Sache de, des it is not a matter of prudence. Es ist nicht eine Sache de, de, de the most difficult prudential decisions we have to make in America. De, die, die schwierigsten, the most difficult prudential decisions we have to make in America. Um, um, in America is whether you go to McDonald's or Burger King. <laughs> Or Coca Cola or Pepsi. <laughs> Evil people choose Pepsi. <laughs> But the, the fact is, our faith is more important than McDonald's and Burger King. And the great lie of modern man is that we believe the choice of religion is like the choice of restaurants. But we must recognize Aber there is only one way to heaven. This way is the Holy Roman Catholic faith. Held whole and inviolate. 
held entirely and inviolate. Und dass man ihn ganz um, aufrecht hält. And we are holding that faith here in the resistance. Und wir im Widerstand halten diesen Glauben. The faith that we hold in this little hotel room must be held by everyone in London in order for them to go to heaven. It isn't just for us. It is the same faith passed down by our ancestors. It must continue until the end of time. And here is the heart of the Arab. We'll skip some of the other things. But here the heart of the Arab. One of the points that the Bishop Williamson, a Catholic prelature could not be refused. This is the statement of Father Piar. The response of Bishop Williamson. Sure. But not if it is managed by false churchmen. But evil churchmen. This is a very grave error. In this world, we Catholics continually work with evil souls. We work with all manner of people from all different types of religion. Wir arbeiten mit allen möglichen Leuten von verschiedenen Religionen. And we must do this. Und wir müssen das machen. Because we must go to them to bring them Christ. Denn wir müssen bis zum Ende gehen, um den Christus zu bringen. Why do we work with them? Warum arbeiten wir mit ihnen? Remember, when you walk in the streets, you walk as a Catholic. Wenn, wenn wir auf die Straßen gehen, dann gehen wir als Katholiken. You buy food at a restaurant. Wenn wir Essen im Restaurant kaufen, kaufen wir es als Katholiken. Work in a workplace. Interact with people in the streets. Every one of them we must bring Christ. We treat each of them with charity. Priests have a special obligation to go wherever the sinner is. To find the sinner and pull him out of his sin. Hence, if the only problem was to deal with modernist Rome was to deal with wicked priests, there would not be a problem. There have been wicked priests in the church since Judas. There will always be wicked priests until the end of time. We must deal with wicked priests. But if the priest tells us to violate the law of God, he tells us to teach a false doctrine. We must reject what he teaches. God knows who is wicked and who is not. We know that there are wicked. But we do not know which one is wicked and which one is not. Because God alone sees the hearts. Hence it is not for us to judge this is a wicked priest, that's a good priest, this is a wicked priest, that's a good priest. This is one of the grave errors of the false resistance. Many, many people in the false resistance say, you have to check your SSPX priest. If he's a liberal priest and not good, stay away from him. If he's a good priest and a holy priest, stay with him. This is judging souls. It is for God to judge souls and not us. Hence, we have to look on the level of the principles. What does the priest stand for? 
He stands for the official position of his society. Er steht für die offizielle um, Position der Bruderschaft. What does the modernist priest stand for? What is, uh, steht der he stands for the official position of his diocese and of Rome. Er modernist Rome. Die der und des Many of these priests hate the modernism. Viele den Some of them love the modernism. Some half love and half hate. All that matters is what does he officially accept? The indult mass, for instance, is a compromise of faith. We all know this. We should be teaching these things to people who are coming from the Novus Farco. We should not be teaching these things to our own people who have been going to the Latin Mass for the last 50 years. But now we have to teach our own people these simple truths. And why is that? Because the great leaders of Catholic tradition are now communicating false doctrine. A Catholic prelature could not be refused, says the bad priest. The answer, you are right, says the good priest. But they're bad men. So you're also wrong. What's the next step? The next step is you are right and you are also right. Today the step is you are right but you are wrong. Tomorrow you are right and you are also right. And so that yes you are right we, we, have, we should accept the personal prelature in principle. Okay. But in practice, we cannot accept it now. And hence, we get into the problem we mentioned very often. Of the soldiers in the English army in the charge of the Light Brigade. Der Soldaten in der englischen Armee in der Light Brigade. Light. Light, in the, in the light cavalry, charge of the light cavalry. The, um, cavalry. Yeah. And so then in, in 1854, 1853, in the battle, the war of Crimea. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in that battle, in this war, an idiot, <laughs> an idiot who, started, who was in charge of 600 men, der war verantwortlich auch für 600 Leute, told them to charge against the Russian guns. There were cannons in front. There were two cliffs on either side. Cannons on the right, cannons on the left. In the battle that ensued, one Turkish man hurt his back lifting the cannonball. Another one pulled his muscles. <laughs> Some hurt their ears from the sound of the cannons. <laughs> that was the damage to the enemy. <laughs> and the light brigade was wiped out. <laughs> The most stupid private in the brigade knew that if he charged with cannons all around, he was going to be blown to smithereens. What was his obligation? He knew that his commander was an idiot. What was his obligation before God? <laughs> he is in the army. He has a commander. The commander has a right to say charge. You are attacking the enemy. 
And if you die attacking the enemy, that's war. Therefore, he was obliged to go to his death. If he did not go to his death, he would be executed as a traitor, a coward, and a deserter. Hence, applying that principle, the Catholic of the priest of the Society of St. Pius X and the faithful who leave the society, set up independent chapels, because they are afraid of being captured by the modernists. If that is the reason we establish our chapels, then we must be recognized before God as cowards, traitors, worthy of execution because we are deserters. We do not Stay with, with, get ourselves cut off from the SSPX superiors as we have been cut off. Because we're afraid of being killed by the modernists. We stand against Bishop Fillet. Because whether he means well or whether he means badly. He is breaking the principles of the Catholic faith. When he decides that we can be a personal prelature within Rome. Why? Because if we are a per what is the reason of the personal prelature? The prelature is for those souls attached to the Latin Mass. For those souls that are too backward to accept the new mass. There just came a report last week from Rome that Pope Francis may be planning to eliminate the Ecclesia Dei Commission. And forbid all Latin masses in the church. Excuse me, not, not the Ecclesia Commission. That he is going to get rid of Sumorum Pontificum 2007. Uh -huh. Remove uh -huh. Sumorum Pontificum 2007. Okay, not the Ecclesia Commission, but that the Sumorum Pontificum from 2007 zurücknimmt. So that only members of the personal prelature will be allowed to go to the Latin Mass anywhere in the world. Ah, so that only members of the personal prelature so Rome now says the indole communities or any priest in the Novus Ordo Diocese who wants to say the Latin Mass will no longer be allowed to celebrate it unless he leaves the diocese and joins the personal prelature under Bishop Fillet. This means we are going from extremely bad to infinitely worse. So that according to Rome now, the personal prelature will be the requirement for anyone in the church to either attend or to celebrate the Latin Mass. Hence we must say most clearly the personal prelature is intrinsically evil. It is evil because this prelature means that only people of the prelature should attend the Latin Mass. That those who do not freely choose to join the prelature 
frei, wie in der Palatur beizutreten. Are still being pleasing to God. Die sind zwar uh, wohlwollend für Gott. By attending the new mass. Oh, sie wohlwollend für Gott in der neuen Messe beizuwohnen. And by accepting Vatican II. Und, um, und indem sie This is a lie against the first commandment. Das ist eine Lüge gegen das erste Gebot. And now Bishop Williamson says. Und jetzt sagt der Bischof. Williamson? Should we accept the personal prelature? Yes. Yeah. But my only concern is, okay. I think they're bad men. It's like saying, so I would eat the cyanide ich werde essen, if only I thought you were a good cook. Uh, wenn ich wüsste, dass Sie ein guter cook It doesn't matter if you're a good cook or you're a bad cook. If you eat cyanide, you're cooked. You're roasted. You're dead. You're finished. This isn't complicated. And yet, what do souls say today? It's very complicated. There is the false resistance and the true resistance. We all shoot at each other. There is a good and dull community and the liberal and dull community. There is the good priests and the bad priests. If we look at the individuals, life is always complicated. That's why our Lord Jesus Christ gave us the Holy Roman Catholic Faith. One in violet, whole and beautiful faith. And if any human being on earth attaches himself to it and lives by it, they will necessarily be eternally happy in heaven. And they will necessarily make the world a better place. Is the faith that is the key. And this is very grave. But now we find the resistance. Saying the personal prelature is okay, but I'm concerned. You see, before we would say, The resistance, there's Bishop Williamson and there's Father Pfeiffer, and then there's a really bad one, Father Hugo, and then all the other ones, they all have different opinions. But they're the ones that are against the personal penalty. Now they have different explanations. But Okay, they're the ones that are against personal prelature. But now we can't even say that. <laughs> Because the heresy of modernism has infiltrated the resistance. Perpetually changing truth. <laughs> What was true yesterday is not so true today. <laughs> What was wrong yesterday is beginning to be right today. Before Bishop Williamson was very much, it seemed, against the personal prelature. Now he's still against it, but not as much. And he's against it because he doesn't trust those people. This is female thinking. We do things because they're right or wrong. Not because we trust or don't trust. <laughs> And so, therefore, we, we cannot say. And also, this, the one last thing. Society has the right to accept jurisdiction for confessions and marriages, says Father. Okay, dieser Priester sagt, die Bruderschaft hat das Recht, Jurisdiktion äh, über die Beichte und die Ehe ähm, zu akzeptieren. And the response of Bishop Williamson? Bishop Williamson's Antwort. Are you so sure? Sind Sie so sicher? What if that was just cheese on a mouse trap? Was ist, wenn es nur Käse auf einer Mausepalle wäre? 
He does not choose in a mousetrap. We had one of our seminarians in America, who we call the New Saint Francis. He made this big, huge trap to kill the possums and the creatures coming into our house. Each day he put new food on it. Every day the food was eaten. And the trap never closed. He fed the animals on his trap. That's cheese on a mouse trap. There's nothing wrong with cheese on a mouse trap. If you can get the cheese without getting trapped, wenn man den Käse bekommt, ohne gefangen zu werden. Except the cheese. Nehmen den Käse. The problem of the personal predator. Das Problem der personal predator. And the problem of the concept, accepting the confessions and the marriages. Und das Problem, dass man die Ehe um, und uh, die um, is that it, Konfession akzeptieren. Is that it means accepting the enemies as well. It is, dass man eben indem man das alles an, annimmt, akzeptiert man auch die Feinde. And it means an implicit denial Und es bedeutet ein implizites um, Leugnung of the true work of Catholic priests down the last 50 years. Der wahren Arbeit der katholischen Priester in den letzten 50 Jahren. Besides, it's also a lie. Und darüber hinaus ist es auch eine Lüge. Because the modernist Rome has not accepted our marriages. Denn das modernistische Rom hat nicht unsere Ehen anerkannt. Pope Francis did not accept it. Franziskus hat es nicht angenommen. And we should know that. Und wir sollten das wissen. It's our duty as priests to point that out. Es ist unsere Pflicht, dass Priester das um, um, darauf hinzuweisen. But here it says, and we accepted jurisdiction for marriages? No. And we are not in the resistance because we don't trust bad people. We are in the resistance because we trust God. And we trust that the true faith will win the day against all enemies. And as St. Jerome said, I will preach the faith if everyone listens. I will preach the faith if only a few listen. I will preach the faith if no one listens. Because God always hears. And he will judge me when I die. And remember, we have the victory anyway. So long as we stay with the truth. Solange wir mit der Wahrheit bleiben. Und wir sagen, dass wir auch in den Wahrheit sind, wenn wir das